in the nation that access to electricity in some communities across the nation is difficult in fact some communities have not had electricity since the day god called abraham in essence since the day electricity supply was instituted in cameroon some communities are yet to have this basic commodity called power supply in a nation that asking for good road is seen as luxury that the state seemingly is asking the question in a nation where petroleum products are being produced on a regular basis in fact asking for accountability as to where these products are being sold the amount that are generated by the petroleum products be it in bakasi be it at a refinery in limbe which has now been uh, is under construction it's a major problem despite clearing evidences of the fact that the nation is producing petroleum products more than some of the other stage states in west and central africa in a nation where taxes have been increased at all level at the level in which a common man is unable to breathe in fact taxes have been increased on electricity those who even use water those who even use the regular mobile money all level taxes have been increased and asking for why these things have been increased and what is being done with the money to ameliorate the lives of common man and the peace-loving people of Cameroon thou worth not on can tell is a problem in a nation that used to have the best airline not just in West Africa Central Africa the nation used to have the best airline in the entire Africa. It was a pride of Africa, known as Cameroon's airline. Asking for why it is failing and not effective in its function, and why it is not able to have much Ethiopia airline, is not a major problem. In a nation that is grappling with a conflict in some parts of its own territory in the northwest and southwest region where more than 6,000 peace-loving Cameroonians have been killed also destructions of properties millions of displaced persons both internally and also externally and asking for why this conflict is unable to be brought to an end and why this conflict cannot be resolved within the speed of light like the nigerian Biafran civil war that ended just took just three years and ended with reconciliation and asking for why we cannot sit as a people to resolve this is a major problem in a nation that they take home package of all Cameroonians, those who are working in the basic sector, who are not salary earners, those who are doing menial jobs, those who are recruited by private agencies and asking for, give us this day our daily bread. A divine appellation that is enshrined in our Father that give us this day our daily bread. And asking for that daily bread in Cameroon is not a major problem. And we are being asked, it is not just an issue that Cameroonians should be seen as fools. But however, the fact that Cameroonians are silent doesn't mean that they don't know the power of electoral college and also doesn't mean that they, they don't know the power of their vote when the time will come as it came in 1992. The question we are asking is, how did we get here that we are being asked Avang? And to be more precise and to be more disheartening to the situation, you get people cheering and clapping that he have a qua van and people clap, clapping for what we are asking. In fact, asking now for good governance is a problem. Asking for why things are not working effectively, peacefully is a problem. And we are asking, he have a qua a van. He have a qua van. It's a definition that we are seeing Cameroonians being mocked by the fact that by the privileged few who have harnessed the wealth of the nation who seemingly don't understand the pain of that mother in bonamusa the market bonaberry market in gokitunja market in lewa market in widukum market that mother who sit in mokolo in the far north region who is unable to put food on her table and asking her iave kwa is not just an insult but it's something that cameroonians must understand that the privileged few cannot continue to hold and harness the wealth of the nation the time has come and i believe
believe that Cameroonians know what to do when it comes to 2025. It is an insult, not just to the peace-loving people of Cameroon, and also to the government in power for someone to ask Iyave Kwavang. Let us take time to ask ourselves and answer that question in a brief two minutes or so. Iyave Kwavang, let us go down memory lane. Memory lane, electricity supply in some basic cities were stable. In fact, in the southwest region, there used to be a power station that was at Yoke. When you are going to Kumba, it was known as the Yoke Power Station. It used to supply the entire southwest region and part of northwest region with stability of electricity, with fewer money to pay, and sustainability. Electricity could last for a longer period. That was what we had avant. We used to have the marketing board. The marketing board was the regulatory board that enables product and farmers to enjoy the dividends of their hard work. The marketing board is no longer there. Let us come to Cameroon Airlines. The Cameroon Airlines used to be the pride of the nation, in the world, uh, Africa, to be more precise. In fact, when you call Africa, Cameroon Airlines used to have Boeing 734 Plus, which was known as the 11 province. Today, let me ask, do we have such Boeing? Do we have international flight from Cameroon to other nations, not just Nigeria? As far as Kameko is concerned, Iyave Kwavang, we used to have Kameko. Iyave Kwavang, we used to have a nation where the president himself will go and inaugurate major projects in the nation and go and inaugurate project and see that it is done. Let me give you an example. Balingwa Gama School Moliko Boya is another example. The technical College in Boya is another example, and you can name the rest. The president used to walk and ask questions. The level of corruption was minimal in the nation. People were not judged by the language and the dialect they speak. They were judged by the base of what they can offer as far as developing the nation is concerned. People were not judged based on the tribal tendency that you, they would call them tontina, sardina, graffi, this and that. People were not judged by the color of their skin. They were judged by the content of their character, the morality they uphold as a nation, as, as a peace-loving nation. That was what we had avant. We used to have roads, the Dwala Boya roads, used to be okay as we speak. Benefits of Iyave Kwavang is what we enjoy in the Boya Dwala Road. When you go to the Boya Dwala Road, some of the good portion of the road is uh, they, are, they are what were constructed by the old regime. What the new regime possibly had done is amelioration on some patches that got back. Iyave Kwavang, that was what we had in Avang. In fact, if I continue to list the plethora of issues that we used to have Avang, you will not have time to listen to my guests whom I brought to ask. So answer that question. As you ask, let us also note that history is on the shoulders of those who were clapping. That The truth is, when electricity is being cut, whether you are CPDM, SDM, MRC, you don't have the electricity. When there's traffic, you enjoy the traffic also because we all know that good governance is now seen as a threat to democracy, to a definition of the privileged few democracy. But this is not how Cameroon is. Cameroon is a land of promise, land of glory, and deep indentment forevermore. This is House of Commons. We meet Tamai Javis.